All right, good morning, you guys. It's Brooks Customs, and we're back here with another video. So today, we will be working on a G35. I know I haven't posted this video in a while, but let's get to it. So here we have the G35. I painted it, but no, I haven't wet sand and polished it. It's straight raw paint. Um, but today, we will be working on the seats. Time to dye the seats. Right. Y'all ready for that? Let me know if y'all ready for that. Oh yeah, seats will be red. Front and back. Okay, so here we are. We will be painting the seats back red. Front and back. Um is already blacked out, so this black and red theme should go pretty well. So here we go. First thing first, take the seats out the car. Okay, so boom. Here we are. You have to remove these covers. And it's a 15 millimeter bolt. There are four of those. You know, one right here, one right there, one in the front, and one on the other side. You have to remove all four and disconnect the wires that are underneath the seat. So you can pull the seat out. Once you finish with those, we can continue to do the rest and pull all of the rest of the seats out. Okay, so now that the first seat is out, this is the opportunity and chance you have to vacuum everything that was under your seat. Huh? And now it's time to proceed with the other seat. Okay, so in order to remove the seats, right? I will repeat this step. That's a bolt right there, 15 millimeter. You will have to remove the clip. That's a 15 millimeter, right? Then you will pull the seat forward. There's one exposed already. There's a cover right here. Right. Boom, that's the last one. So it's one, two, three, and then four over there. Once you do that, you will be able to proceed with removing the seat. Okay, so now that the seats are out the vehicle, we can proceed to clean. Also, I will be taking the center console out so it will stay black. Um, yeah, so scuff up the seats, clean them well, and leave them in the sun so it could breathe for the moment, you know? And let's get it. Okay, so here we are. Gonna start the process of cleaning. This is Dawn soap, you know? And I got a, a, a scuffing pad. This is not a scotch bright pad. This is an actual scuffing pad, you know? So, yes, I'm working in the sun to clean it, you know? Get it nice and, you can scuff up the leather. Make sure you get into all the little cracks because that's what makes the job in all actuality. <laughs> Scuff it up. This is just so the paint can stick better and the first coat could grab to the leather and it won't come out as plastic. It won't feel as plastic. So it's just a little cheap mod to do for the time being. If you want to add a little kick, spice to your vehicle, for a little bit nothing. Yeah, just like that. So you have to repeat it on the rest of the seats. This seat is already done. 
So it's just time to mask off everything I don't want painted and start. So I will get back to you when I'm laying down the first coat. Now it's time for the first coat. Um, it's been sitting, the seats have been sitting in the sun for approximately 10 to 15 minutes just so the pores can open and the leather can heat up itself. And this is just a little extra step, you know, being precautious and making the paint be able, the dye be able to stick better to it. So that's all that we're doing right now. We're gonna lay the first coat and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, this is the first coat. Remember you guys, light coats. You wanna do light coats the whole way through. That's coat number one. Go let sit for five minutes to flash. Then I'll come back with the second coat. Okay, you guys. So, here we are. This is two coats of the clear on top of four coats of the red. Oh yeah, seat's looking good. Oh yeah. Now it's time to work on the car itself. I have to do the back seats that are still in the vehicle. That's what we're going to mask up and get ready to do now. Okay, so now that we're in the vehicle, we're going to open all windows, open all doors, go in the trunk, pull the lever, which I'll show you, so I could drop the back seats and begin to mask to paint the back. So here we go. Open the trunk. A button right here. You pull that button. So now, back seat can now fold down. Okay. Now it's time to open all windows. And sunroof as well. Okay, so now that we're back, I just did four coats of red. Now it's time to add the Brooks Customs decal to each headrest and then clear it with the top coat. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have a tripod just yet. Um, okay, so look. Boom, Brooks Custom Decal. If you need one, I got them for you, man. Also, make sure you wear a mask or some type of ventilation protection because this is really harmful. And there's a lot of overspray and I'm in an enclosed environment. So with that being said, time to put the Brooks Customs on each headrest.
Boom. Should I make it slanted or should I put it straight? Um, we're going to add character to it. So, I'm going to slant it. I will have them slanted. Why not? So, yes, every headrest in this vehicle will have a Brooks Custom decal on it. So, whenever you enter the vehicle, you will know it's from Brooks Customs, man. It's from us. <laughs> it's from us. Let's get it. Oh yeah, I'm loving it you guys. There we go. Only at Brooks Customs. Okay, so now it's time for the clear coat. I laid one coat over here. Now it's time to do this side. All right, and here's the finished product. Yeah, it came out pretty good, like, still feel like leather, no problems. Yeah, man, another one done at Cook's Customs. 